Hi, Sarah here, and it is day 28 of my little project called The Dating Game. I didn't realize it had been so long since I've started this project. Time has just been flying past and I really meant to get a video out like a week or two ago. So apologies for not keeping you updated. Since my last video, I have been on it a few dates. So I've met three new people through the apps, but we have gone to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, venues to test them out as great first date venues. The first gentleman I met, uh, we caught up in Footscray and we went to two really awesome places. Check out my blog uh, for more information about them. And then I met another gentleman in Geelong. Uh, we checked out a, a wine bar and then a dessert bar. And then last weekend, I went on a really random date in the CBD and yeah, it, it involved cats <laughs> and yeah, we decided to go and try an Italian restaurant that was recommended to us by the staff members at the, at the first venue and thereafter we searched for a great place to have dessert. I'll put all the details in the blog which will recommend venues when I finally get around to it, which hopefully shouldn't be too far away. Uh, but I did need to update everyone who's interested in participating in the dating game with me uh, because just under two weeks ago I went on a first date with someone who I'm actually romantically interested in. So that kind of changes the rules of the dating game uh, such that I, I want to give this relationship uh, a fair chance. So when I do go on venue dates with people. I just need them to know that I'm not emotionally available. So I'm still putting in as much effort as I would normally in meeting you for a good conversation, uh, testing out the food, testing out activity, whatever it is that we decide to do. The last two dates that I've gone on as part of, as part of this project um, were well aware that I wasn't available and they were just good sports and they came and met me out and we spent maybe two hours at least talking and I think what I've realized is that when I go on dates with people that I'm romantically interested in, especially the first date or the first time that I, I'm meeting them, I kind of put pressure on myself to be the best version of myself, which doesn't always happen because I'm nervous and shy and I know I'm being assessed. And what I really like about going on these venue dates with people is that they're very relaxing and the conversation just flows and there's no expectations and neither of us are assessing each other. So we can, yeah, just, be ourselves and yeah, I'm having a great time getting out and meeting people. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to let everyone know who is interested in meeting me for a future venue date that at this present moment, I uh, am not emotionally available, but I'm still very keen to check out venues and activities across Melbourne and Geelong. So if you match with me on Tinder or Bumble, I'll again just I'll direct you to my bio which I have updated the end sentence in my bio let me just uh, read it to you and show you what it says bio says I'm currently emotionally unavailable so I ran out of characters to put any more details but once I usually engage in conversations with people I let them know straight away because I don't want to waste their time now interestingly I've just gone to log into the tinder app to see how many matches I might have because uh, the other day I went to log in and it was being very buggy. I had maybe like 70 or 80 matches and I wanted to go in and introduce myself. And then it just bombed out and I got logged out. And then when I logged back in, all of my matches had disappeared. So um, this is the first time that I'm logging back in since then. And it's come up with this uh, message introducing my move. Be in control of the conversation. Men won't be able to message until you send the first message. So it seems like Tinder is starting to copy Bumble. Now, do I want to turn it on or do I want to say not now? I'll say not now and Tinder's just looking to see who's around me. I don't really have anything left to say in this video. So if you're enjoying watching the dating game and the videos where I explain how my 
dating project is going, then click the button below to subscribe. You can watch the previous videos that I've posted. And yeah, if you're interested in coming along to singles events, I also host fun activities around Melbourne and Geelong where you can actually get out and meet single people in real life. So I should be getting ready for the one cheese night, which is happening uh, this evening in Geelong. Next week, we've got a games night. If you're tired of Bumble or Tinder and you just want to get out and meet people and have fun, then you can check out my website, organicfusions.com.au. But otherwise, stay tuned for the next video where I share my dating experiences with you. Cheers.